the Dallas Cowboys beat the Cincinnati Bengals, and so many people don't realize how great this offensive line was. Not only did the Cowboys run for seven first downs, but they had over 100 total rushing yards, average four yards per attempt. But more than that, they kept their quarterback clean, and in today's video, we're going to break down this offensive line. Let's jump right into it. You know, one of the things that I'm noticing in the NFL is so many people talk about Quentin Nelson, Elijah Vera Tucker, even the rookie Zion Johnson, and they talk about how great of a guard they are. But oftentimes, they leave out the best guard in the NFL, that is Zach Martin. Look at the play right here by Martin. Look at the double team block on the nose. He's going to get the nose moving. And then he quickly shifts focus and gets up to the linebacker. And the running back runs it right through his gap and picks up a number of yards. It was these three, four, five yard runs that the Cowboys kept churning out that really helped them win this game. Martin's going to do a great job double teaming on the nose, really get him moving, really get him stretched out to the right here. And of course, you're going to see him turn his head to number 57. But it's really that processing, right? He knows what his initial responsibility is. You guys see the entire line here really stretching to the right. Steele does a good job with the backside seal. And of course, Martin, as he makes contact, turns his head, looks to number 57. That's a great job by both the right guard and right tackle. And of course, Zeke picks up five to six yards on this play right here. One of the major things that people don't realize about this game is that Tyler Smith went one-on-one -on -one against one of the best defensive ends in the NFL for most of the game, and he did a hell of a job. Over 36 pass blocking snaps, and yet he gave up no sacks. Now, he does lose on this rep in my opinion, but this is good teach tape. In my opinion, one of the things that happens in this play is he doesn't do a good job punching, and Trey Hendrickson, who is one of the best pass rushers in the NFL, one of the best overall defensive ends in the NFL, gets his hands right to the chest of Smith. Smith initially misses the punch with his hands. You guys can see those hands kind of land to the outside of Hendrickson. And Hendrickson's going to drive Smith back towards the quarterback. Now, it's not a big deal because he doesn't actually get to the quarterback. It is teach tape. It is something I wanted to point out. But as this video continues, there's going to be a lot of plays in which you guys can realize Smith does a really nice job. And I'm really excited to continue watching him as he's developing. Like, he's already come a long way from the first time I watched him at Tulsa in week one or two, to his preseason, to where he's at today in the second week at left tackle. He's done a pretty solid job. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. In my opinion, right tackle Terrence Steele is a really good football player. He definitely has some developmental things he needs to work on. But he has so many good qualities and traits. And one of those is his ability to move in space. You know, I made a video on Terrence Steele about a week ago. And one of the things I had noted while watching his tape is he has really good footwork. This cornerback right here probably runs a 4-3 or a 4-4. And Steele is going to find him and block him. And not only block him, he's going to actually throw this guy. I mean, that's a great job right there to make contact and really move a guy. Now, to me, the most impressive part is the fact that Steele is able to get out in space and make contact with the guy. That's very hard to do. Oftentimes, you'll see offensive linemen pulling, getting out in space, and not finding a guy to make contact with because the guys out there at corner or safety are just too fast. And that's a really nice job right there by Steele. Let's go ahead and jump forward into the next rep. In my opinion, if I had to say one offensive lineman was absolutely dominant in this game, uh, it may be Terrence Steele, but I think Tyler Smith had a really good game as well. Plays like this, where he was able to be the backside seal and open up a running lane for the running back. Being able to get to the inside here of this defensive tackle, who is really playing that four eye, three tech, is very impressive in my opinion. And as he gets out of his block and as he gets to number 95, look the seal off he does right here on this guy. And even the, the left guard here gets up to the linebacker. Of course, the center does a good job moving number 68. And the running back's able to hit that lane right there. This play is 100% created by the offensive lineman. And do keep in mind, the Cincinnati Bengals front seven is pretty good. They have a really good linebacker in Wilson. They have a really good defensive end in Hendrickson. Even some of their corners are really good. And yet the Cowboys offensive line did a good job. Uh, this is a really nice play. Let's go ahead and jump forward into the next rep. This is a really nice job by Tyler Smith on this play. You're going to see him get to number 91. Turn him and really open up that lane right there for the running back. When Smith gets out of his stance, you see him come out of his stance with power. Look at him get these arms super wide, and he really brings those arms to the defensive end here. He's going to make contact, and from the point of contact, look at the way he turns number 91. Look at how he gets his body, gets his butt back towards the running back here. 
Like he's literally at this point created a wall here. And of course, you're going to see the running back is going to bend this backside to Tyler Smith's gap. Now, in my opinion, Tyler Biadish and Forniak have to do a better job on number 98. But overall, still a nice run. This is a gain of about four yards. Let's go ahead and jump forward into the next rep. I want you guys to watch Tyler Smith on this play. And we're going to watch some of the other guys too. But look at how confused it almost is for the offensive line. And I shouldn't say confused because they pick it up perfectly. And the quarterback delivers a beautiful throw. But because the Bengals are bringing six guys on this play, they're really coming after the quarterback. You can almost look at a guy like Smith and look at how he kind of looks to the inside with his footwork. And then how he kind of comes back to the outside. He fades back out there and he picks up the defense man. A nice job by him, but even the rest of the offensive line. I mean, watch Tyler Biadish on this play. He's going to do a great job passing off number 92. Getting back to the inside on number 59 here. Really hitting him low. Uh, maybe that's a hold. I don't know. I probably wouldn't call that a hold. Either way, for the Bengals to bring all these guys and really leave their guys out into man-to-man -man situations, like you see on the bottom of your screen here, and of course, the quarterback's going to deliver the throw and the receiver's going to come and catch it. So really nice job by the offensive line. Great execution to pick up the blitz. Those are the types of plays that are very hard to pick up, and yet the Cowboys did a great job picking it up. Let's go ahead and jump forward into the next play. Now, I know some people don't like Tyler Biadish, but damn, look at this block right here, man. He gets out there, makes contact right there, and opens up a massive lane for the running back. This is a really nice play right here, and we're going to break this down. All right, jumping into this play, this is a power toss pitch. Yeah, you can call this a power toss pitch because it is kind of a pitch. Um, but this is a really nice job by the entire offensive line. First and foremost, you get a great seal block here by number 98 on number 91. That right there really opens a lot of things up. At the same time, you get the left tackle Tyler Smith coming around, doing a great job on 59 here. And that ultimately is what allows this play to pop. The two seal blocks, the fact that Smith is able to pull around and get to that guy. And then more than that, man, look at the center here. Uh, Tyler Behadish, man, that is the type of block I want to see. Wow, that's a beautiful block right there. Again, you know, I know a lot of Cowboys fans don't like Biadish. You know, some people wanted some other guys to start. Some people wanted the Cowboys to potentially draft a center. Uh, but this type of play is why he is the starting center. Uh, that movement, man, to be able to get out in space and find and make contact with the cornerback, that's a great block right there by the center. And, of course, Pollard takes it all the way down. That's a great job right there, man. Let's go ahead and get into the next rep. I want you guys to watch Zach Martin on this play and look at how easy he makes it look. Look at how much space he creates for the running back. Like at a certain point when you pause this play, the double team by Martin to really get that nose out of there. And then he gets up to the next guy. Look the lane right here that is being created by Martin, right? Getting that nose out of there from here to where Martin is. Even Terrence Steele does a great job with the backside seal. Now, of course, Biadish does have his strengths and weaknesses. One of his strengths is getting out in space. One of his weaknesses is handling strength at the point of contact. You guys can see in this play, he doesn't do a great enough job sticking to the nose. Who ends up making the play, but this is still a really nice run, right? This play right here still picks up almost five yards. That's a great job still right there. Uh, and of course, we mentioned Steele, but uh, Steele always has done a great job. In, in my opinion, he is an elite blocker, run blocker specifically, because of plays like this, right? Uh, most people will say this isn't a big deal, but I would disagree. The fact that uh, out of his stance, Steele is able to get to the inside here to a guy who's slightly aligned to the inside. Never underestimate the fact that this defense alignment is on the inside shoulder of Steele. He is in that four-eye technique, which means this guy's gap is this lane right here between the right guard and right tackle. And Steele takes that away. He gets to the inside and seals it off really quickly. That's a great job right there by the right guard and right tackle. Jumping forward into this next rep, this is a play in which Ezekiel Elliott does lose, I believe, three to four yards. You guys can see the play number 91 blows it up. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, Tyler Smith should have blocked that defense bend. Some people may say the center should have blocked that defense bend. Here's the uh, unfortunate part with this play. You have a zone play to your left, but at the same time, you're going to get your center out here to pull and potentially lead for your running back. Now, when you have a center pulling, that means the left guard has to take the guy directly in front of him. Now, keep in mind, these guys are all going to still continue to step to the left as you would in a zone play. Uh, and unfortunately, 
the one gap that really is not protected is going to be between the left guard and left tackle. This gap right here is the one gap where the left guard has to cover the guy that's pulling. So because of the fact that the guy that's pulling is being covered by the left guard, the left guard's not stepping to his left. So let me actually start the play and you guys will see why that's important. As the play begins, the guy here is going to jump the inside gap. Generally speaking, on an inside zone, when all of these guys are going to the left here of your screen, number 68 would theoretically be responsible for this gap here, right? Uh, unfortunately, in this play, he has to cover the center who is pulling. So the one and only gap that ends up not being covered, Hendrickson jumps it and he ends up making the play. Now, ultimately, Tyler Smith should have still sealed it off. Uh, this would be Tyler Smith's responsibility to make sure number 91 is contained. Uh, because ultimately, he's the guy that would have to be responsible in 68's blocking down. Not a major deal. It is one play. Once again, it is a uh, rep in which he will be able to learn from. Now, I want you guys to watch Tyler Smith on this play and watch the movement he gets on this, this defensive lineman. I mean, look at that movement. Look at that seal-off block right there. That's such a great job by Tyler Smith to be able to seal a guy off like that. Uh, that's impressive, man. Look at that left hand landing right on the shoulder the outside shoulder and he really uses that left hand to leverage and move this defensive lineman seal him off zach martin leads uh, or pulls and then 78 steel leads through the gap that's a really nice job man this is uh, this is why i think the dallas cowboys still even this year have an absolutely great offensive line you know you don't have to have five superstar players you just need five guys that can work together. And the fact that the Cowboys have Jason Peters and they ended up starting Tyler Smith instead, I think was the right decision, man. Tyler Smith looks really good. I watched both of his first two weeks. I've watched every snap at least two to three times of him. From a technique perspective, he can definitely continue to improve. Uh, but look at how explosive he is out of his stance. I mean, as this play begins, look at him get out of his stance. Look at him load up that right hand make contact and just absolutely move people tyler smith's the real deal man let's go ahead and get to the next rep maybe one of the best blocks i've watched this entire weekend right here on this play you're gonna see both the left guard and left tackle pull uh, and they do a great job and the running back picks up a really really nice chunk of yards on this play uh, you know one of the things that i love to see is when offensive linemen can really work together and you get a really nice block here by Steele. It's a nice down block on number 92. And look at the movement he creates right here, man. The fact that he's able to move a guy so much really opens up the lane. If Steele gets stopped right here, this play does not pop because there would be no space. Everyone's trying to really seal off and really close down the gaps. And Pollard has just enough space to, to uh, squeeze by. Um, but the left guard does a great job going, taking on number 94, makes contact here. Tyler Smith comes and makes contact with 57. That's a great job right there, man. That's exactly what you want to see. Uh, some nice down blocks, some pulls. Pollard, man, great vision, great footwork. That's a really nice run. Uh, overall, I felt like the Dallas Cowboys did a lot of really good things in this game. Uh, of course, you know, having Cooper Rush in there in my opinion, is a disadvantage to the Cowboys. He's a good quarterback, but he's not Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott's clearly much better. Um, and truth be told, with the amount of weapons that this Cowboys team has on both the offense and defense side of the ball, with Dak Prescott, they're competing for a Super Bowl. And the fact that they were able to beat the Cincinnati Bengals, the team that was in the Super Bowl last year, uh, that's a it's it's a great game for them, man. They're they're really they're they're one and one. Their offensive line's coming together, and I think they can continue to win games like this, right? Uh, when guys like Zach Martin and Terrence Steele and Biadish and, uh, you know, Forniak and guys like Tyler Smith can continue to do what they're doing. I mean, look at this, this seal-off right here uh, by Tyler Biadish. Not anything major, but he stops 68 in his tracks. So you're putting Tony Pollard in a one-on-one -on -one situation with number 55, who is basically unblocked because you use two guys on one guy. But look at the backside lane here. Tony Pollard hits it, and boom, you pick up four quick yards, right? Uh, I'm excited, man. The Cowboys, in my opinion, are a team that is building the correct way. I think this offensive line has so much potential, and I'm excited to see what they do in week three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do plan to do another film breakdown, so if this is the first time you're on this channel, 
consider subscribing. We're going to pick a couple of defensive plays and really break them down. I may just do a Michael Parsons video. He's at one of my absolute favorite players in the league. The guy's a straight superstar. Thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with another video.